All right, so I'm here at the Sterling Target. We found those toys under the shelf. So I go up to the, re the register to pay, and uh, they charged me a dollar for the Transformers toy because it wouldn't ring up in the system. They told me I could just have the Red Skull one because it was covered in wax. So I got the Red Skull and the Transformer for a dollar. That's a score all day long. We're taking that. Let's go. Sterling Target's been good to us today. We like when Targets are good to us. Alright guys, it is Monday morning. I'm out here at local Walmart. You can't see there's cars around me. I'm at local Walmart. I'm gonna go in and see if there's anything new on the shelves. It's been like three or four days since I've been here. Also, I really like the sun right here. Making me look all professional, like JJ Abrams is filming this. Now we're going in. We're gonna look for plastic. We're gonna look for fun. I wanna look for some new AEW. There's some new neck I wanna pick up. There's some Christmas presents I wanna grab. So come with me. Let's see what we can find in here. See you soon. All right, dropping into local Walmart. It's been a little bit since I've been here. And immediately on the corner of the toy section next to Transformers is Goliath from Gargoyles. It's the first time I've seen Gargoyles NECA at Walmart and it's in the toy section, which is super weird, but that's cool to see. I dig it. Over here in Transformer land, we've got that new Transformers Red Megatron. How cool that looks. Also have RC, have another Megatron. I don't see that new Optimus though. That op Oh, there he is back there. That Optimus. These are definitely gonna be pickups for me maybe after Christmas when I have a few extra dollars. I really like this red series. I know the point of Transformers is to transform them, but I kind of like stationary figures. Uh, we got some G.I. Joe 375, a bunch of Stalker, bunch of bunch. 375 Marvel. Wow, this toy section is like jammed full right now. It's been a long time since I've seen this. Just Professor X with a ton of dust on top. Why is this not clearance yet? Uh, no other Marvel Legends at all. Over here in DC. Oh, well, there's a fat Thor in the wrong place. DC, we got uh, Robin King. We got some Suicide Squad. We got some Steppenwolf. More Suicide Squad up there. Got a bunch of mini Landos hanging up and some Mission Fleet goodness. I like that Mission Fleet TIE Fighter. We might end up grabbing that at some point. Uh, Blurg. Nothing I really want to pick up there. Wrestling land's pretty dead. There's a Stone Cold Steve Austin Masters of the Universe hanging up. That's cool. Do like a WWE Motu. WWE Motu a lot as I murder the entire toy shelf. Oh, it's because that Austin's card is broke. Let's hang these back up. We are not leaving a mess here at Sleeping Collectibles. That is not what we do. Got some Battle Cats here. Got some Predator. Over here in Motu, we got our Skeletor, we got our He-Man, got our Battle Armor Skeletor, He-Man. Nothing super new or crazy. Do have some turtles hanging up right there. Uh, ooh, we got some new Fortnite figs. I love these figures. Scuba Jonesy, there's a Vendetta with a little Slurpfish, and a Seeker. I think these figures have amazing looks to them. And the weapons and accessories are top notch. I need to buy more of these. After Christmas, that's definitely gonna be a cop for me. Uh, got our Pokemon calendars here. Got a bunch of tech deck stuff. Uh, some Beyblade, some Bakugan, the huge. Nothing I need though, nothing I want. There's an Ang, there's a couple Angs. And then some more Star Wars left over here on the corner. Not too, too much in the toy aisle, but some cool things to see. It was cool seeing that Goliath. Let's slide over to uh, Collectibles and NECA and see what's going on over there. Some Eternals Legos. Yeah, let's, let's go on over there. I'll see you guys there. All right, sliding into NECA Collectibles. Oh, we got a little Christmas story end cap over here. Got some lamp, we got some mini lamp, we got a party game, and then we have our winter gremlins. Those are cool to see. Price is a bit more than I'd like to pay, but I mean, it is a lot of plastic. That looks great. Dropping into the main aisle, we got our spawn stuff. We got our Back to the Future with some aliens. DBZ, Naruto. Got some uh, bobbleheads down here. Pee Wee Herman, stay puffed. And I, is that Bob Ross? Yeah, it's Bob Ross. Got some Stan Lee up here. Got a hidden flash back there. See you. Tons and tons of big 10 inch pops. And then some little ones too. We got Super Shredder, we got Doug. We got Starship Troopers, Hamilton. We got a little bit of stuff here. There's Russell. 
hanging out with us. Star Trek, we got Wenwu. All right, these are kind of cool to see. Got some Dune Pops. Let me fish through here real quick, see what's going on. That's kind of fun. I really like these Doug Pops. I'm a big fan of the movie Up, for those that don't know. It's one of my favorite animated movies. I love it, it has a ton of heart. Oh, I've got one of those TVs that have been marked down to 150. These right here, guys, if you see them right now, they were originally $200 at Walmart. These 42-inch smart TVs, they're down to $150 now if you see them and are in need of a TV. Keep that in mind while you're out and about. All right, I'm going to slide over to clearance and see what's going on over there. I'll see you in a second. All right, dropping into clearance uh, just to see what's going on here. Here at my local Walmart in Cumberland, uh, we got some clearance Christmas trees. Clearance Christmas lights, got some monster trucks. Uh, there's a rogue fig pen that's still overpriced. I got one for four dollars the other day. I uh, got some book covers. Got some. What's that? A hidden clearance PS5 game, Mortal Kombat 11 on clearance for PS5. That is wild, and it's in the book covers too. I'm gonna throw that back there because I don't even know what to do with that. That's so weird. Uh, got some covers here. Got some book covers, got some phone covers, some phone cases. We got some Spirit Stall Stallion of the Cimarron stacking apples game. I don't even know what that is. Sounds exciting though. Uh, over here, we have some more folders, notebooks, the usual stuff, nothing too crazy. That clearance PS5 game is pretty weird though. Let me go back and look at that one more time. Why? why? It looks like it's been opened. That might be why it's on clearance, but hidden in the book covers. Is it actually in there? Yeah, it is. That's wild. That actually might be a pickup for me before a long time. I don't know. I don't know that I want that game, but for that price, maybe. All right, I gotta get out of here. I gotta go to work. I'll see you guys soon. Later days. All right, guys. Beginning of the toy hunting week. We are in Leesburg, Virginia. We at that bougie Target. You know, the one with 800 registers and fancy schmancy stuff everywhere. We're here. We're gonna go see Spider-Man in 4D, and uh, I'm stoked. We gotta go see that in about 45 minutes. We stopped here for a little pee break, maybe scoop up some candy to take with us. So, you guys know how we do. We're gonna look for toys while we're here. Looking for that new wave AEW, looking for the new wave WWE, looking for Star Wars. Of course we're looking for Star Wars. And then maybe some NECA too. We'll see how it goes. You guys are gonna come with me. You guys are gonna see it as it happens. Let's do it. This target's wild, guys. Like, I don't know if you can see. There's like 50 registers going down here. There's a full Ulta behind me, like in the middle of the store. For your wives and girlfriends, got that full Ulta. Got a full Disney section over there. Got the craziest toy section I've ever seen. I never find anything good here for the most part because I guess there's so many people, it's what happens when you're in a metropolis area, but they have stuff. We'll see. We're gonna see right now if they have anything. A giant Mickey heads floating, you know, like bougie. Let's go look. This little Disney section right here, guys. Full on Disney. I do see some Star Wars. What do we got going on? We got our IGs. We got our Landos. We got Quill. We got uh, Grief. We got some Emperor. Some 375 vintage collection. I'm okay with it. Let's go find the actual toy section, though, and see what's going on over there. Lots of people in the start today. Pokemon section is jam packed. It looks like. Let's uh, let's go in here and look. What do you see? Oh, look at the big, big Pikachu boxes. They're awesome. Plus we have our packs up here. We have our boxes, our tins. We got a whole row of vultures here. Tons and tons of Eternals. Tons of Eternals. Over here in G.I. Joe, we got our Snake Eyes, we got our Lady J, we got our Andros, our Cobra Commander, our Scarlet's Baronesses. We got our 375 Marvels. DC sections looking loaded with Cyborg, Superman. Got some Bat Cycles. I see our Megatron Beast over here in Transformer Land. Let's slide over here to wrestling and have a look real quick. Oh. My gosh, there's a lot of people here today. Yeah, no, that's Let's put a pause on this for five seconds to leave people move. All right, guys, now we're in the section. Let's look, let's look. Do you have a hangman page up here? Jungle Boy. Oh, hello. Hello. We cash and Dax and a Jackson Boy. 
That's all they have though, which is kind of a bummer. I was really hoping to pick up Nyla Rose, but it's cool to see them up there. Got Moss Man, got Skeletor, He-Man back there, Panthor Battle Cat, Skelly Boys over here, and our uh, Jurassic Amber stuff over here as well. But I'm not seeing anything else. Let's slide over to Funko Collectibles and see what's going on over there. All right, let's slide over here to, wow, look at that turtle section. Bunch of Casey Joe masks. We got our Mutagen Chor shirts. We got our Cobra Kai. We got our frogs. We got Wingnut. We got screw tons of Wingnut and screw loose. That is a fat turtle section. Neck is looking stocked. It's looking faced. This looks great. Horror section. We got Super Seven reactions. We got a black light Demogorgon and Dustin in here. Look at that, guys. This is real nice. Gunpla's looking good. We got some Killmonger. We have a uh, we have a Bat Cave set up in here. We got that new Boba Fett bag. Got new My Hero stuff. Full section of Flash, Suicide Squad. Got our Hawk Girl. Got our What If shirts. More Blacklight Demogorgons back there. Man, this section is booming. I don't see anything I need. Do have that Misfits. That's cool. But nothing else that I really need or want. Have that new Flash Gordon up here. We got, I like the card on these. These cards look great. All flash. All right. Very, very cool stuff. I don't really have time to hang out and dig into any of this because we got to get to the movie, but Target Stop number one's a success. There's nothing here I need that I'm going to buy, but I'm genuinely okay with this stuff. All right, let's go. We got to catch Spider-Man. All right, guys, we have made it here. We are in Leesburg, Virginia. I think it's uh, Brambleton, I think it's what it's called. We're going to go to the Regal Fox 40X Theater. We got Easty. We got the Buns of Space. We're going to go see Spider-Man. It's like noon. That was weird. My phone just stopped recording all of a sudden. But we're back. We're skipping school on a Friday to watch Spider-Man because I'm a good parent. That's what we do. Let's go, Spider-Man. There she is, boys. Let's do this thing. Peter Parker. Sinister Six. Sleeping Collectibles. We in here. First things first. Spider-Man was fantastic. What an amazing movie. That was so much fun. 10 out of 10 for Sleeping Collectibles. Second thing, we're at Target here in Sterling, Virginia. I've never been to this Target. I'm really excited. Usually when I go to Targets for the first time, I uh, pop up shelves. I find some stuff. There's not many collectors that do that around these parts. So, fingers crossed, maybe we'll find some gold on the shelves. Maybe under the shelves. Let's, uh, let's do fun things. Toy time. All right, guys. Diving into the action figure section here. In Sterling, we got our What If, we got our Spider-Man wave up here. Got Nebula, got a bunch of Mobius, tons of Eternals. See some Crow, I see some Vulture back there, peeking his head out. I do see some shelving right here that is prime for lifting. There's Dr. Reed Richards. Got our Snake Eyes, oh, there's more What If over here. We got Sylvie, we got Zombie Cap, got Captain Carter, got T'Challa Starboard. We are loaded over here. Got a bunch of Ultra Magnus, got a Megatron Beast Wars, got our Joker, got our Shriek, got some Cabals. That doesn't go here. Actually, I might scan him and see if he's still bringing up seven bucks. Cause we might get him if he's still $7 on clearance. That might be a thing. What we got back here? Is that a Diamond Pikachu? Sure is. Look how fancy him is. I'm gonna put him back there. Somebody's clearly hiding him for later. All right, there's actually nobody in this aisle right now, so I might go ahead and lift some shelves real quick before this aisle gets a little populated. It's an old Star Wars card. See some Bakugan stuff. RC car that we're gonna move. Oh, somebody's hiding a Minecraft toy under there. that shelf back down. Let's put that RC car back too. We like to clean up here. So just a hidden Minecraft toy. Nothing of any importance. Let's go see if we can find Star Wars and wrestling. See if we can find anything we need. All right, this target is set up super strange. What'd you find, Easton? You found Thor Gingerbread Man. I found Diamond Pikachu over there in the next aisle, hidden behind 
some stuff. Go over there and have a peek. It's, uh, I forget what it was behind. It's right, right near the front, though. We got a rock. We got our AJ2 pack. There's a Roddy Piper hanging up here. It's very rare to find a Piper on the peg. Over here, we got our Nyla Rose. We might end up picking her up. There's Matt Hardy. There's Hangman. There's a Jackson. There's Jungle Boy. And, of course, we've got Kazarians hanging out. There's another Piper down there, too. And a third Piper over here. Uh, not seeing too, too much else right now. Uh, Skeletor. Got some Hot Wheels stuff. Uh, Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemon. Some Goku, some Funko Pops. Uh, my hero, I, what is that? That's kind of fun. Got a Todoroki statue. Gunpla section is loaded. Gundams for days here. Exia, there's Heavy Arms. There's Grandpa, there's Strike Freedom. Got a little bit of everything. There's also a shelf right here that looks like it's been lifted. Let's just have a peek real quick. Wow, we're in the neighborhood. And of course, there's nothing. But there was a Transformers card underneath there, which is interesting. All right, let's keep going. We got more stuff to look at. All right, there's a whole section here with very, very little on the bottom. We might have a look real quick at some things. Uh, let's take a peek real quick. Nope. Nothing. Mm, it's another one right here. Pretty empty. Ooh, what is that? Transformers bot bots. I don't even know what this is. Twenty. Why is it always old Transformers? I don't get it. It's always old Transformers. Let's take this to the scanner and see what it rings up. I don't even know what this is. Let's find out though. Let's go to that scanner. All right, guys. So we found this old Transformer under the shelf. Two modes, bot bots, series one. Don't know what this is. Scanned it, and it rings up a series three. Zero dollars and zero cents. Scan it again, same thing. We might take this to the front and see if it'll ring up. We might pick this thing up, I don't know what it is. Somebody put a big old dent in it, it looks like. But I'm curious, we're, we're gonna take it with us. I do wanna scan this Cabal and see if Cabal's still on clearance. Cabal is not on clearance here, so he's going back. But this bot bot, we're gonna hold on to for a minute or two. Let's keep looking. All right, I'm moving some stuff out of the way over here. Move this over here a few seconds ago, and look what we found. All of these Hot Wheels and Magic cars underneath the shelf. Car Culture's Dotson, another Dotson, and whatever this Matchbox is. I'm going to look these up real quick and see if these are anything special. But I think we just found someone's car stash. So let's go look at that real quick. All right, looking at these cars online. Uh, they look like they sell for about $15 each, so I'm going to buy one, and I'm going to hold on to it, because it looks like it's something of minor value. The other one I'll put back on the shelf, so a real collector might be able to pick this up, because it looks like it's a little bit harder to come by. So, we're going to go ahead and hang this one on the shelf. Let me put down my Nyla Rose real quick. Alright, check it out. For posterity's sake. Hanging up, I'm taking this one. Moving on to the next aisle. Let's do it. All right, so I was walking through this aisle. I just want to show you guys. I was checking shelves off camera just to see what I can find. And look what I came across in here. Hot Wheels Battle Force. Completely part of the floor. It's also an old card there for something. Oh, man. I don't even know what that is. Oh, it's DC. That's an old DC figure card. And then also whatever these Hot Wheels are right here. The Zenter vehicle, some kind of old Hot Wheels pack. We'll leave those on the shelf so they can be picked up by somebody. That's kind of a cool find. Old Hot Wheels are always fun. Let's uh, speak of this shelf too. And the one behind us. What are you doing? You are a monster. Look at all those Squishmallows. They have one more over there. They have four of those? Yeah. Oh, you are wild. These are the pumpkin spice ones that you couldn't find. Like back in October. And now they're everywhere. Late shipments, guys. Late shipments. Let's put this bone shaker down and just peek under here real quick. More old Hot Wheels cards. This looks like a Hot Wheels scalper's paradise. I have found like four or five ridiculous things. Blows my mind. 
All right, so EC just called me over. He was checking shelves without me around. Look what he found. Look at this red skull. Thanks, Easton. It's got wax all over it, too. 2013, you just found a nine-year-old Marvel figure from Captain America and the Winter Soldier under there. It's faded, it's got wax on it. Look at that. Easton, killer find. We might try to take this one, too. What'd you find? Bell and Beast Castle. Yeah. Easton, that is a sick find, dude. I love this red skull. Look at the detail. Oh, yeah, we're definitely taking this one up front. Good find. I love targets like this, guys. You can always find so much stuff. There's an old Pokemon code card. There's a bunch of old Pokemon cards under there. There's more back there. All right, go ahead and put it down. What's the year on these? They will. 2018. So it's a three-year-old set. This isn't worth anything at all, but very cool to find nonetheless. Nothing down there. Oof. What a crazy day. We're finding all kinds of stuff here. Moving on to the next aisle. All right. I've been so busy looking underneath panels that I didn't even go to the collectible section yet. Also, this music's so loud. We're probably dubbing over this Tim McGraw business. We got some G.I. Joe, we got some What If Wave, we got Polka Dot Man, there's a Chris Jericho hanging out over here. Got our Jason Voorhees, got our Stranger Things stuff. Chrome Dome, Art Series Turtles, there's a Beetlejuice. Uh, there's a ripped open Happy... Who steals Happy Days Migos, really? Okay, wait, but who steals Happy Days Migos? That is incredibly strange. Some Redeemer Spawn, some Alien stuff, there's Harley Quinn. A bunch of Super 7 Reaction Turtles. Coraline, Space Buns is grabbing all the Funko Pops she can carry. I don't see too, too much else though here. Honestly, there's a couple Black Panther pins. Those are kind of nice. Severus Snape. It's very cool. There's a stolen Killmonger pop back there. Um, But that's really it. There's nothing that I absolutely need here. I love the NECA section, but lately it's been real dry for me. There's not anything new or exciting coming out. I am glad that I found this stuff today, though. A bunch of undershelf finds. And maybe there's Nyla Rose, too. But we gotta go. We gotta start heading home. We're gonna be way behind schedule if we stay here too long. Oh, Easton. You're a wild man. Alright, let's get out of here. We'll see you guys soon. Alright, so I'm here at the Sterling Target. We found those toys under the shelf. So I go up to the re uh, register to pay, and uh, they charged me a dollar for the Transformers toy because it wouldn't ring up in the system. They told me I could just have the Red Skull one because it was covered in wax. So I got the Red Skull and the Transformer for a dollar. That's a score all day long. We're taking that. Let's go. Sterling Target's been good to us today. We like when Targets are good to us. All right, driving on the way home. We're stopping in uh, Martinsburg to go to Target. Where else would we go? We have to take a pee break, so Target's the place to go. This is going to be a smash and grab target, though. We're going to go in, look, and get out. We're not going to spend a lot of time in here. I'm trying to get home. i got a lot of stuff to do, and it's starting to get late. In we go. All right, we're going to go into the toy section, guys. Drop it in. Over here, let's start in AEW land immediately. We got Frankie. Ooh, we got a bunch of older AEW. Nothing I need. Do you see some Keith Lees up here? Got our Cena, our Apollo. Drew Escobar, Star Wars Land is now renamed Lando Land. We got our Masters of the Universe Motu stuff, Evil Lynn Moss Man. Not seeing anything new or exciting. There is a lot of empty panels here though. I don't know that I have a lot of time for panel checking right now, but maybe we can check a few things out. Do have some Pokemon Fusion Strike, some Charmander stuff. Got our Eternals Wave, Sylvie. Uh, Nothing I really want, honestly. Do you see King Shazam? Some Blight up there at the top. Transformers, we got a lot of Dino Megatron. Got Tigatron up here. That's cool. And uh, that's really it. Not much going on. How's everything in Collectible Land? You only looked at the Pops? All right, let me, let me slide over. Yeah. I'm looking at everything from a distance and I don't see much of anything, honestly. They do have Scarlet. That's not even Scarlet, it's just Hawk Girl. My eyes are getting bad in my old age. Got a Cobra Kai TMNT. Got a Princess Bride figures up there. Those are cool. More uh, Blacklight Dustins down there. Some Demogorgons. 
Ninja Turtles art series. And then we have our Batman stuff. All right, let's swing back and do another second and third pass and get out of here. All right, this target was a bust. Nothing here, nothing under shelf, nothing on shelf. Meh. Business as usual with this target, let's go. Time to go home. Look at my little bunch of line followers. Let's get out of here.